Hi, I'm Dr. John Martin with IV Family Health Updates, and I'm here with my sister, Dr. Catherine Martin, my brother, Dr. Edward Martin, and our special guest today, Marsha Weingarten. Marsha is a specialist in corporate wellness programs, which she has developed all over the country, and she's also a certified personal trainer. And she's here today to show us some of the basics that you can um, exercise, that you can start doing at home. You don't have to go to a gym to get into shape. And there are some very simple things that you can do at home just to get that body uh, toned, if you're part of a weight loss program, um, just to, to get you started. Get going. So let's show you some exercises. Okay. Why don't you join me? All right. <laughs> so we're going to start here. This is uh, tubing and bands, and it actually has little handles, so it makes it very comfortable to use. It's very lightweight. You can stick it in a suitcase. And it's a great place to start an exercise program. One of the exercises that I'm going to show you is for the biceps. And you can just step on the band with your right foot. Rest your elbow, right, onto your leg. For those of you who don't know, this is your biceps. This is your bicep right here. Your muscle right this here. This is your bicep here. And you just lift up, gently lift up, up and down. It will shake your muscle. It will also give you flexibility, which is something that we always want to preserve when we begin an exercise program. So you just take it up and down for maybe five reps in the beginning and build up to 12 reps. That's a great place to start. Would you like to try it? Sure. So I put this over my foot here. Mm -hmm. And gently pull up, and your bicep is right here. I can feel your bicep pumping away. <laughs> you have to do 12 reps <laughs> instead of the beginning five. That's great. Yeah, and you can see that you actually just oh, yeah, you actually feel, feel it in the muscle that you're working. The other area that people really like to work is called the tricep, is the back of the arm. And here, what you're doing is you're actually going to grab onto the tubing. You're going to lean forward to protect the back, and you're literally just pressing your arm back pressing your arm back, and it just works that tricep, an area that so many people are concerned about. And, you know, interestingly with the tricep, the tricep is actually the larger muscle, mm -hmm. right? So once people, you, don't people don't that. realize exactly. that. Exactly. So, so I put this on my head. Mm -hmm. And you just lean forward and just press right back, and you can see it's a very comfortable position. It's a very natural right. position. Exactly. And you can definitely feel the contraction. You can feel it, and you feel it right in the muscle that the you're working. And remember, with the band, you're getting the flexibility. Your muscle is working just like that rubber band, stretching and contracting, which is a very healthy way to work. I brought some dumbbells to show you that. You can also work with a lightweight dumbbell and do the exact same exercise. You can stand straight and you can just take it up, working the bicep, which is right here again. And it's a full range of motion activity, just a little bit different than the tubing and bands. And for the tricep, it's the same position. You would turn to the side and press back. Press back, keeping your tummy tight to support your back. Two exercises that work the same muscle groups, two different techniques, and it's good to even alternate. Okay. And these are our two major mm -hmm. muscle groups of our arms. Exactly. So. Exactly. Okay. For shoulders, I can begin with the dumbbells. And Again, we always bend our knees to protect our back, and your core, your stomach, is always pulled in, and you can just take it out to the side just a little bit. Doesn't stress the neck. If you have any tight muscles in the neck, just slightly take it up and take it down. Take it up and take it down. And I think it's important to let people know, if the five is too heavy, yes. just do it with nothing. Exactly. Right? You can do it with absolutely no weight at all to familiarize yourself with your activity. The other thing I must mention is that if you feel any discomfort or if you are someone who has any neck pain or shoulder pain, you should check with your doctor first before you begin and work very, very slowly okay. when you have that. For the shoulder with the band, you would step on it with your left foot, standing straight, and you would literally take the band up and down. And again, you see that I'm bending my knees, my stomach is tight to protect my back, and you slowly take it up and down. Same movement, same muscle groups, different techniques. Mm -hmm. And we can show one for the legs, an area that most people are concerned about. If I lay down here, and I take a dumbbell. Okay. 
You can literally rest the dumbbell right on your hip and just slowly take the leg up and down. This is an area that everybody tends to be concerned about. And you just slowly lift and maybe not go all the way down. And again, you can do this without a weight. You will still feel the muscle contracting. With the tubing, you can put the tubing right around your ankle and up right over your knee. And in the same position, you can lift the leg. It just creates a little resistance and you lower and lift nice and slowly, working that whole hip area. Going to abs, Ab, abs we all care about. And doing proper abdominal exercises is very, very important. One of the common problems that people have with abdominals is the neck area. We tend to not support our necks when we're doing abdominals. So I always say, look, uh, lower yourself very, very slowly down. Take your hands, place them behind your neck, literally hold your head in your hands. There is no reason to stress your neck and not support it to get a good result with your abdominals. So again, take your hands, put them behind your head, and literally get used to holding your head in your hands without any weight on the neck. Keep your elbows back, and a good abdominal only comes up this far. You do not have to come all the way up. That's where the tension in the muscle is. When you come here, you're at a release. Okay, a lot of places yeah. come all the way up. Right? And momentum, and then their necks are flying. So it's a small motion. It's a very small motion. Support your head, slowly take it up and down. Up and down. Up and down. And one little trick is to count out loud. When you exercise, people tend to hold their breath. If you count one, two, three, you will automatically inhale and exhale. So those are a few tricks that I think can begin a good exercise program. How many repetitions or sets would you do of these? I mean, if you're a beginner, I would absolutely begin with one set, uh, one set of five to 12 repetitions and build up from there, build up from there. And is it easy for people to buy this sort of equipment? Yes, you can go to any sporting goods store and uh, pick up any of the tubing, the light weights, they have all kinds of exercise equipment. And the, the tubing comes in different colors, right? Mm -hmm. the different colors indicate different, different resistance. Different right? resistance, okay. right. And they do label exactly what the resistance is. You can even take it out and try it. And I suggest that if you are a beginner, to start with the lightest uh, color band, which is a yellow, which has a lot of flexibility. Okay. I mean, the tubing looks great. Looks like you could throw that in your suitcase. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, you can throw it in your suitcase. You can travel with it. You can bring it to work. Um, take it on, on a walk with you and stop and be able to do right. a few repetitions. And even 10 to 15 minutes, you get every major muscle. Yes. Work. I think right. you saw. You really feel it in the muscle that oh, you're yeah, working. Definitely. It isolates the muscle. So it's a wonderful way to start. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Marcia. <laughs>